When it was introduced in 1998, the ISC engine was easily distinguished by its Cummins accumulator pumping system high pressure fuel pump. The electric lift pump purges air from the system and ensures fuel flow to the CAPS fuel pump for easier starting. An optional two-ribbon grid heater can be installed under the intake manifold cover. The heater assists with cold starts and reduces white smoke at startup. Preheat and postheat cycles are controlled by the ECM. The low pressure fuel lines carry the fuel from the tank to the inlet of the CAPS fuel pump. The fuel filter is a 10 micron stratopore filter with the ability to strip water from the fuel. Return fuel lines direct excess fuel back to the tank. High pressure fuel lines connect the pump to the individual injectors. An HX40 wastegated turbocharger provides the boost pressure for these engines. The electronic control system consists of an electronic control module, sensors, and an engine wiring harness with a 23-pin vehicle connector. Introduced in 2003, the High Pressure Common Rail HPCR, fuel system is a full electronic control system. While the HPCR fuel pump does many of the same functions as the older CAPS fuel pump, it eliminates the need for the distributor that CAPS used to deliver fuel to the injectors in proper order. The HPCR system uses an electric lift pump to deliver fuel to the HPCR pump during cranking. The pump mounts to the ECM cooling plate. The CM850 control module for these engines has expanded functionality over the previous CM554. The grid heater that was optional on previous versions of the engines has been made mandatory. A low pressure fuel line carries the fuel from the fuel manifold to the lift pump and DCM cooling plate. The lift pump and the fuel passages in the cooling plate are parallel with each other. Low pressure lines also carry fuel from the lift pump to the gear pump section of the HPCR pump assembly, from the gear pump to the fuel filter head, and from the filter back to the actuator housing on the HPCR pump assembly. The cooling plate incorporates a check valve that works in conjunction with the lift pump. The water separator is contained in the OEM supplied suction side filter. The pressure side fuel filter is a 2 micron filter. The high pressure connectors are mounted in the cylinder head. The common rail stores fuel at high pressures for injection into the cylinders. The high pressure fuel lines transfer fuel from the common rail to the high pressure connectors. The fuel pressure sensor and the pressure relief valve are mounted in the fuel rail. Leakage past the injectors internal leakage from the air bleed orifice in the high pressure pumping head and drain from the pressure relief valve is routed to the fuel manifold at the rear of the engine. Drain lines carry this fuel back to the tank. The ISC with CM850 and HPCR incorporates a waste gated whole set HY40W turbocharger similar to the HX40 used on previous versions of the engine.
The ISL with CM850 and HPCR relies on a variable geometry turbocharger. This unit is capable of providing better control of boost pressure for excellent power production with minimal NOx emissions. The variable geometry turbocharger actuator is controlled by an electrically operated valve. This valve adjusts air pressure to regulate turbocharger speed and boost. Various other sensors around the engine provide the ECM with the information needed to control engine speed and power output by controlling the amount and timing of the fuel injected into each cylinder. The wiring harness connects all of the sensors and any output devices to the ECM.